Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today you guys today I'm showing you guys how to make beef and broccoli at home my way all right so look if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and let's get started all right guys so look for today's recipe we are going to be using two ribeye steaks and these steaks are slightly frozen we're gonna get right into it y'all and here I'm just gonna trim away some of the fat now I personally like to use the ribeye even though it has a lot of fat and it's probably not as ideal for this recipe I like to use it because it's tender okay but if you want to use something like flank steak or New York strip you can do that as well as some chuck roast cuts as well but I'm using ribeye and I'm just gonna cut it into small pieces like this you don't necessarily have to cut it at an angle you don't have to worry about how thick it is honey just cut them up into small strips just like that and I'm actually gonna save my fat I'm gonna freeze it for a later date because we don't throw away good stuff like that okay so look go ahead and transfer that into a bowl once you get it cut up it does make quite a bit of meat and I'm gonna add a cup of water to my meat y'all we got to tenderize it okay um, I'm also gonna add in a tablespoon of baking soda now you don't want to use that baking soda that's been sitting in the back of your cabinet for about a year. You want to get some fresh baking soda, okay? So look, go ahead and add that in and massage the baking soda into the steak cuts. And this is going to help tenderize this meat. And we're just going to set it aside for about 10 to 15 minutes. And after that's done, strain the water. You don't want that bloody water now. Get rid of that water. If you want to give it a rinse, you can do that as well, okay? But now we're going to marinate it. So look, in our marinade, we're adding in a fourth cup of soy sauce one to two tablespoons of oyster sauce y'all don't freak out when you hear that it's very easy to find in the store i'm gonna add in one teaspoon of white pepper y'all know white pepper is the truth but it's stank <laughs> honey don't put your nose over it all right one teaspoon of garlic powder and a half teaspoon of cornstarch we're also gonna hit it with about a tablespoon of neutral oil my choice of oil was grapeseed oil and i'm using a pinch of salt Remember, all of these ingredients can be found down in the description box below this video. Okay. Now, go ahead and mix that up pretty well. You can cover it, let it marinate for a few minutes, and we're going to set that aside, all right? Now, let's work on our sauce. We're not done, y'all. You're going to need a half a cup of soy sauce. I like to use the low sodium kind, okay? I'm using a half cup of beef broth. If you don't have beef broth, you can use chicken broth. If you don't have chicken, use water. But you might want to add a little bit more salt. I'm going with a fourth cup of brown sugar, a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper for some spice, one tablespoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of cornstarch. The cornstarch is going to help thicken this, okay? So go ahead and mix that up. You want to add it into your sauce. Y'all can see my rice is over there cooking. Make sure you cook your a pot of rice if you want to eat it with rice, okay? But go ahead and set your sauce to the side. And today, I am using a wok. I don't get to use my wok often. If you don't have one, you can still use a skillet. But you're over medium heat. You're going to add in some more oil. And we're going to fry up our steak first, okay? We want to get all that good steak flavor in there. Go ahead and fry that up. Make sure your wok is hot so that steak will cook pretty quickly. Um, if you want to leave some pink honey, you can, but I prefer not to with this recipe. Go ahead and brown that up, okay? Brown it all the way up. Don't completely overcook it, but make sure it's brown, all right? And remove that. Set it to the side. That should only take about two to three minutes, maybe a little bit more, depending on how hot your pan is. And I'm going to add just a touch more of oil. Don't act like with Asian cuisines you don't see oil, y'all. Y'all know some oil in here. We're doing three cloves of garlic that has been minced. I also have just a little bitty bout of minced ginger that I added in. If you want to use ginger powder, you can. Or if you want to use the ginger paste, you can. One teaspoon. And I'm going to add in two cups of broccoli florets. Now, listen, this is fresh broccoli. Um, I did not steam it prior to because I like it to have some bite. But um, if you want to use frozen broccoli, you can. But you see, I just added in just a little bit of water just to kind of cook that broccoli down just a little bit. And so my, you know, my garlic won't burn, child, because don't nobody like burning garlic. Uh, I know I don't. And once you get that broccoli a little bit slightly tender, you're going to add in your sauce mixture. Look at it. Hmm, honey. Now listen, if your heat is way too high, you will thicken your sauce, your sauce too quickly. So make sure your heat is not boiling the sauce. You just want to simmer it, okay? And now it's time to go ahead and incorporate your beef. Go ahead and get that in there. Honey, look at that. 
And I know y'all be tripping about my serving sizes, but guess what? This recipe doubles, triples, and quadruples, okay? So if you wanna make more, go for it. But go ahead and mix all of that in. I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt, just a little bit, you know, for the flavor insurance. And then we're gonna let this simmer on low and reduce for about five minutes. You can do a little bit longer if you'd like your sauce to be a little bit thicker, but it will thicken as it cools, okay? But look y'all, once you let that sauce cook down, look at what you get, honey. Look, tender, beef, nice, fresh broccoli, honey. Look, it ain't even nothing else left to say. Let's go ahead and plate it up. And there you have it guys, our delicious 30 minute better than takeout beef and broccoli y'all. And look, check out my custom chopsticks by at Forked again. I'm gonna have to make sure y'all check her out, okay? But look, I wanna let y'all know that this recipe was bomb.com and it's on the table in less than 30 minutes. So you gotta give it a try, okay? But look, as always, I wanna thank y'all for watching. As always, thank you for tuning in to my channel. And if you try this recipe out, honey girl, you better let me know. Okay, let me know. Tell me how it went. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video.